Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the May 6, 2019 edition of IMRU Radio Magazine. Out front and out loud since 1974. I'm Abby Dees. And I'm Wenzel Jones. So last week we talked about how the Department of Health and Human Services was poised, and by Health and Human Services, I mean the Trump administration, yeah. was poised to strip anti-discrimination protections from LGBT people, especially trans people, because it's going to affect them the most. Well, because they're the easiest to, to jump on. Yeah, and that's actually who they're targeting, and we'll come back to that, and impose a new set of, quote, religious freedom protections so that any healthcare worker, and I mean anyone tangentially related to health care provision of any kind, can refuse service based on their religious beliefs. So the rules actually have been announced. And the thing about this particular story that infuriates me is that crowd that keeps screaming about Muslims and Sharia law, you just want to shake them and go, this is what it looks like. That's what it looks this like. This is Sharia law. Yeah. And how did we learn that it's a thing now and not just a proposed thing? Because Trump announced it in a speech on Thursday, which was the National Day of Prayer. It basically gives healthcare workers the right to discriminate against people on the basis of religious belief. And I was unable to find in my scan any limits on this. No. This takes me back to the good old days when, when Bessie Smith was in a car accident and died because no hospital would touch her because she was in the South and she was black. And that was their conscience in Great. healthcare. Great. <laughs> that, that's the kind of progress we've been making. Oh, so moving on <laughs> to another wonderful story. I'm really trying. There are good stories. There really are. But these seem yeah. so pressing. And the mainstream media is not really reporting them. The newspapers are burying them in, like, page four and below the fold.